It says Carl. What in the world is that? I mean, they've never seen anything like it. Jason from Denworks got something super 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 cool besides Stanley the English Bulldog but this is a really cool truck I got Mrs. D with me I thought you were talking about me oh super cool no like, yeah like, you're oh, super I got Stanley and I got a really cool truck you are super you're the super duper 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 cool well this is what makes it super cool you gotta hop out yes this one. and look at that <laughs> She's got their Gambler 500 shirt on. That's right. We had a lot of fun with that uh, down over in Eastern Oregon mm -hmm. with her Porsche. Such a cool station wagon. Yes. We might see it on Bring a Trailer. We're thinking Maybe. about it. We're yeah. I mean, it would just be super fun. 89 Ford Country Squire, but it's really a Porsche. Yes. It's a, it's a Porsche tribute car. Yes. Really. It's very cool looking. Yeah. And I'll put a picture of it in the video. Yes. Actually. That'll be cool. And then also, uh, too, um, you know, we talk about it in our um, podcast mm -hmm. that we have, and we also it's called No Reserve, mm -hmm. and we can also see it on... Uh, it's on any podcast format, so Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and then we're on Instagram a lot, so um, Denworks Vintage Cars, and so if you like what we sell, Instagram is a great place to see the sneak peek of stuff that we just get because we always get excited so we're always posting little tidbits of things that we have coming so yeah so um yeah you can check us out there too and you can check us out on our website denworks.com mm -hmm. uh, d-e-n-w-e-r-k-s mm -hmm. so we've been around for a long time since 2003 and sold a lot of cars on bring a trailer this is 293 mm -hmm. um we're almost to 300, 300. Yeah. so we're really excited about that. We don't know what it's going to be, but we're pretty sure we own it already, but we're yeah. just not exactly sure how the pieces are going to fall in place, so watch yeah. out for what number 300 is going to be. Stanley, it might be him. <laughs> it, we could never sell him. He's the original super stud. Yes, he is. He's He had the stance there. So anyways, we're going to walk around this. We're going to show you different stuff about it uh, in general. Such a cool truck. Bought brand new at McRobert uh, Motor Company in Gresham, Oregon. And it's kind of funny because we have two trucks on the property. This one and Leslie's High Boy, both bought at the same dealership. Yeah. So that's kind of cool. It's very cool, actually. So it's just kind of neat to have them. But this one has never been painted. It is original Raven Black paint with the uh, stripe along the side very cool 360 ranger xlt so if you want a survivor uh very very cool if you don't want something that has scratches and little dings and paint fade this isn't your truck this is a dude's truck real truck totally a dude's truck so we'll walk around or it a here dudette. a dudette it's i would a dude drive this truck all day oh long. yeah yeah. Mm -hmm. Are you going to let me drive it ever or what? <laughs> Actually, today is the first time I ever drove it because you wouldn't let me drive it. That's true. Because too much patina. That's what you said. Yeah, too much patina. Too rough. So anyways, we'll walk around it here a little bit. The plate frame does not go with it. Super stud. I got that a long time ago and uh, I like putting it on trucks like this. But you can take a look at the, uh, we'll show you the good and the bad. Um, also, if you we own this one, but if you need us to help you sell something, we would be happy to do that as long as you don't like smoke and mirrors and um, we're just not into that. So if we can describe it as something that we would own and show you issues and, and good things, then 
we would like to help you so anyways we'll take a look at the grill grill looks in pretty good shape um, you can see a little bit of fade and different things one little crack you can see right there it's not all the way through but again this is original um, all together and this looks nice I did replace this emblem here it was missing um, and I didn't this is the factory piece actually but I just separated you can only buy it as uh, a whole unit but I separated this piece and put it on here take a look at this grill here little nick right there but the rest of it little repair right there but the rest of it looks pretty good I wouldn't change much on this truck I like the looks of it um, you can see the bumper is kinked down a little bit you can do the fun stuff put a new bumper on it have this trim fixed here it probably had bull horns on it is what I'm thinking uh, I'm not sure but you can see a little couple little things but you can improve some of the chrome on it when you look down the side it's really nice um, nice and straight you know again it is original paint you can see all the paint fade up here on the hood it's just perfect up here so a little cut right here on the bumper guard uh, too so we'll just take a look down the side here again we've been driving it around so it's today it's a little dirty but it looks good rubber molding looks good and there is no paint work on it um, that I've seen on this truck so it's got the the perfect look to it you can see a little rub through right there molding looks good little scratches um, you can see this molding here is dented a little bit wheels are toyo mt lt 315 seven, one, or, uh, 75 16s and the date code on these i believe is 07 you can see right there wheels i'm not sure what the brand is on it but you can see some kind of oxidation and stuff some pitting on this little ring locking hubs which is cool it's got rancho rs 5000s on it and a stabilizer bar here as well a rancho um if you look you know the mirrors <clears throat> a little surface rust and and stuff the roof looks good gutters all look good again little little scratches and and different things but overall it looks nice the truck is not rusty by the way floors are amazing looking we did put carpet in it and the floors are really nice um, but this these little spots there's two on each side and what happened you can see it's just kind of weird but there was two tanks one on this side and one on the other it only runs on this tank but if you look in here you can see the inside is nice they put some little tape right there but what happened is these tanks were sitting in here and it it sat right up against this and somehow it just got a little rusty um right there um it just but it doesn't even look like rust it's like little little kind of marks you know it, it is through but it's just kind of weird but it was from the tanks on both sides and i think it just kind of rubbed and and did different things debris sitting on top so it's very isolated so that would need to be fixed but otherwise besides that and the other side um, is the only problems um you can see a little bleed through here rub through top of the rail looks good not all beat up you can see the bed it's wavy it's hold some loads in here you can see it doing this uh, but overall it looks good a little puncture mark right there some dings on the wheel wells again not rusty in the back here it actually looks really good i'll take a look at the back here tailgate and everything looks good this is a cool bumper i'm pretty sure it's been on here since new and yeah, it's got a hitch down there on the bottom but very neat i'll just take you down the other side real fast ding right here again you can see the original stripes on the truck which are on the marty report as well but pretty much the same condition on this side a little bleed through and 
and stuff. Tires, tires are all in the same shape. Little ding right there. Some dings on the rocker molding. You can see, again, right here, and you can see it kind of go right across here a little bit more in two little spots right there. And that was from that tank. Again, you can see in here, they put some tape over the top, but um, you can see in here where they would have been mounted, the saddle mounts. Take a look at the gutter right here. We're gonna show you the lights in a minute so you can see them. But again, plenty of patina, no paint work, a couple little dings on it. There's a, a small, you can see this has been tapped in a little bit, a little wrinkle uh, right there as well. Small dent from the mirror there. You can see a ton of photos on Bring a Trailer um, as well. So we got the marker lights are on, all the marker lights work on. You can see the headlights work and the bright lights. And then we got uh, blinkers. Oh, gotta have the key on. Got blinkers that we got left and we got right and I'll run back here. The reverse lights don't work, so we won't have to show those, but you can see the marker lights all work. License plate light works. You can see the lights, bright or uh, brakes, and then we got blinkers and we got left and we got right. You know, it's still, the truck needs some little things here and there um, stuff, but it's an awesome little driver um, right now. So um, you'll have fun with this, whoever wins it. It is no reserve, top bid is gonna get it. So, lucky person. huh? It's a lucky person. Very lucky person. Mm -hmm. I'd like to keep this one. Yeah. would like to keep it. So anyways, we'll show you some more stuff. Hey, we're gonna take a look at the interior and we'll go ahead and do the engine after we're, we're done. I'll just walk around there and then we'll just hop and show you the engine real fast. But interior is in good condition. We did have the seat uh, refinished. Padding is all good. It's not the exact uh, pattern or anything like that, but this looks really nice. Got all the seat belts. You can see the little, um, you know, some of the chrome and stuff is, is missing in the little pieces that go in here. But um, overall, it looks good. Well, we got it. It didn't have a headliner. A friend of mine had this from a Lariat. Um, so it has really nice chrome trim, which we put in here. And the headliner's a little wavy, but better than no headliner. This is an original piece, which is kind of nice to have in there. The little um, pieces that click into the uh, visors, they're missing uh, too. It does have a dash cap on it. So it has a couple cracks, but it's just a dash cap on it. Uh, but overall, the interior is in pretty good shape uh, for being original. Um, we put new carpet in it, loop carpet as well. And miles on it read 07340. It could be 107. I can guarantee it's not 7,000 miles, but it could be 107, 207. Um, but overall, I you know, it could be 107, you know, just if you look at the pedals, these are original. Not a lot of wear on those. And if you look at the armrest, not a ton. Um, you can see this little gasket is ripped here. So interior wise, things that you could do and have fun with it, uh, put a new steering wheel on it. You can see some cracks in it and stuff like that, but just upgrade a few little things. You see the dome light works there. You can put a new lens on it. Had gun racks in the back. You can see the little holes there. A little flashlight already in here for you. Original tag, you can see, with the VIN number. And it's not painted around or anything and there's no paint work inside these jams. Not rusty in here. You can see the original door tag right there. The door panels are a little loose, you can see here. So it could probably use maybe new door panels. I'm not sure what that hole was. Might have been a remote mirror on this originally, I'm not sure. Um, Cause you can see 
there's a little plate right here with this mirror. So there might have been a remote mirror um, on it. I'm not sure. So I'm going to go ahead and show you the other side. Can't remember if I showed you that, but there it is. If you look underneath the doors, too, they're not rusty. And so I'll go ahead and hop over here. Mrs. D. I didn't actually introduce her as Mrs. D. That's what everyone calls her, Mrs. D. Huh? I'm really Mrs. A. Yeah, it's Mrs. A. Mrs. D. Yeah. Confusing. <laughs> you can see the dash pad. Again, it's nice. Ranger XLT glove box. You can see a couple little rips up there at the top and a little piece missing. So you could put a new one in. Here's the original 4x4 sticker. Um, yeah, it just looks really nice in here. Most all the gauges work, the tack works. Uh, temperature gauge isn't working, but the cigarette lighter works. Radio is not working. Um, I don't even know if it's hooked up. You can see some little cracks around that little bezel. Heater works. Um, you can see it's got a uh, trailer brake controller over there, and I doubt that that's not. It's. It, I don't even know if it's hooked up. So if you look around here, again, I just want to show you on this side. You know, again, it's really nice overall this door panel is attached a little bit better but this one here is a little loose so new door panels would probably be nice uh, to put on it um, eventually all the glass looks good oh you can see the gutter the uh this is another thing you could do is put new window felts that i'll roll this window up and down it does good and oh my camera's being weird there we go got up and it'll need new felts on that side so you can have some fun and put new felts and new rubber gaskets and that kind of stuff so we'll hop in and uh take a look at the motor i'm fairly sure it's the original it's a 360 we did do some some work underneath the hood and i'll do that with one arm i think the motor's been gone through in the past because it's it's very clean um, around the heads and stuff and I took the valve covers off they had some leaks and so you can see the the uh, rockers and stuff are very very clean we put exhaust manifold gaskets on it intake manifold gasket we didn't paint the the motor you could touch up that a little bit and just make it all blue across there um, if you wanted but it does run really good um, doesn't have any exhaust leaks right now or anything like that and up here looks really nice we do have the tag i have it i didn't show you but that little body buck tag there's a little screw back there i do have that body buck tag um as well uh and we'll attach it back there before it before it sells um it did have power steering originally that's where that bolt is but it's been converted um over to manual uh steering i'm not sure why maybe it had a bunch of leaks or something like that you can see down here there's a little bit of oil residue and stuff like that but that is a manual steering box it does float a little bit while you're driving it the big tires don't help um so if you wanted to convert it back to man or uh to power steering you could just wanted to point that out and you can see just a little residue here turn the steering a little bit you can see here um that's just packed with grease and the auction is talking about it seeping but you can see that dust cover there has a little crack in it. Um, so that could be replaced. Um, and it'll just a little, it's just grease, you know, inside here. It's not a, it's not a power steering pump. You can see the bushings. That looks really good. Floors are just really nice on this truck. Go ahead and start it up. It does start nice. When it's, when it's cold, it takes a few times. It's an old FE. You know, but it's it's not bad, but you can see it runs really smooth. Rev it up a little bit. You know, it runs good. We put a new uh, heater fan in it as well, and a new heater core. We did not go through the brakes or anything like that, but it does stop good. Um, so that's one thing that we haven't uh, messed around with 
on this truck, but it, it does stop um, real good. So go ahead and uh, rev it up one more time. Other things you can do underneath the hood too is just clean up some of the wiring. It doesn't blow smoke either. Go ahead and rev it. One more time. It runs really good. So anyways, hopefully that uh, helps you a little bit on uh, the condition of it. Hey, we are out driving super stud around. You can hear a little wind noise to start off. I think it, it might be the gasket here, but I think it's around this little wing window. But we're out cruising around with Mrs. D. Mrs. D, you can't call me super stud because the truck's super stud. That's true, that's true. And I don't want you to be super stud. <laughs> true. <laughs> oh my gosh. That, yeah, that's true. Yeah, definitely you can hear little wing, wing windows. The culprit, we're gonna shoot it, but we don't have our uh, gun racks in here. Yeah. You can see the gauges, speedometer and all that works. You can see the tack, aftermarket tack works, the gas gauge. Oil pressure is awesome, by the way. You can see the temp gauge works. I think I lied to you earlier and didn't say it worked, but it does work. Um, I don't know about that uh, amp gauge or not. The radio's not hooked up. You can hear the heater goes to the floor. We did put a heater core um, in it. Cigarette lighter will work as well. So, um, oh, hit the horn. And then uh, wipers. Yeah, uh, they're, they're yeah, I didn't tell you where they're at. No, there, there we go. go. And I don't think the uh, wiper squirters uh, work. Oh, and the cigarette lighter, it's got a, you can see it works. It's got a powerful spring on it. It's a little bumpy. It's a little bumpy it's riding. Bad, though. Yeah, I, mean, I think it's just the tires being older bit. and yeah. big. You can see a little bit of wander in the steering wheel. Again, it's old truck first of all it's never been restored and um, with manual steering big big tires and stuff like that but it feels good driving down the road yeah definitely does this is the truck if you're a ford guy you're showing up to your chevy friend's house in this truck because they can't compete with it right oh slam the brakes oh right oh right here's good i think i'm kind of on a little curve but you can see not a lot of wheel shake or nope. anything like that. And we'll do it one more time. We'll just, I kind of was last minute yeah, there on that. We'll right. go ahead and there we go. We're on straight. She's stomping on it. Didn't pull or anything. So they, they seem good, but you could probably still go through them and, and stuff, but um, they're working good for now. So we'll go ahead and uh, do some drive rounds and have fun. Might pull in here. They're gonna be scared of our truck because it says super stud on it. And they're gonna think we're gonna help them with this stump removal. Right. And nothing could be further than the truth. We better get out of here. Yeah. just wanted to pop underneath real fast and and show you it i didn't do a ton of photos that well i did a quite a few photos but it just this will just give you kind of a look underneath just to see the it's just surface rust on the frame you can see the ranchos back there but again it it looks really good the back of the cab is nice but look at the floors the floors in this thing are amazing very very good you'll see little seepage and stuff from the transfer case and everything but the bushings look good there you know it's it looks really nice i'm just in, i'm just really impressed the way this truck looks i'll take you to the other side real fast just taking have you look up underneath here real good you know, a little, you can see little where the dust boots and stuff are wearing a little bit and a little grease, but overall looks nice. I'll take you on this side. And hopefully you can see again how nice 
the floors are very good condition you can see the mufflers older mufflers and stuff but but they look good if you can see back here behind the cab again it looks good too so hopefully that gives you kind of a better view of the undercarriage a little bit and um <clears throat> my camera's being weird but it looks it looks good underneath and very very solid and not rusty so anyways hopefully that helps